Hello, my name is Sam Isa. This is my video tutorial on how to use Windows Easy Transfer. Uh, the application is designed to help PC user transfer files, application, and programs from an old computer to a new computer. This is usually happen when you buy a new computer and you have a lot of things on an old computer. Uh, this procedure will make it much easier for you to transfer uh, all the files. So we're going to start by going to the start menu. I'm using Windows 7. Um, in Windows 7 uh, you can find Windows Easy Transfer one of two ways. One way you can type the name itself here Windows Easy Transfer and you can see it, I already used it once, so you'll see it here at the top. The other option is by going to All Programs, so click on All Programs, click on Accessories, and then we go down to System Tools, open System Tools, and all the way toward the bottom is going to say Windows Easy Transfer. Uh, the one on the top of it that said Windows Easy Transfer Reports. This is just give you a report of a previous transfer. So we're going to click on Windows Easy Transfer and we're going to see a window like this. It's a welcome in window. It tells you very much what you can copy, what type of file you can copy, and what can you transfer from an old computer to a new one. So we're going to click Next. And here, it asks you what do you want to use to what do you uh, what do you want to use to transfer items. Um, so over here you have uh, three options. The first one, the first one says an easy transfer cable. This is basically what it all it is. It's just an Ethernet cable, the same cable that you use to connect to your modem. Instead of connecting it to your modem, you just plug in one end an old PC and the other end into the new PC using the same. Uh, Ethernet plug on each computer. Uh, network, it's uh, the option I went with because I already have a setup, uh, a wireless network set, uh, been set up, and I have a wired network too. Uh, the option with this that I can do other things while the transfer is being happening. The third option is say an external hard drive or flash drive create an each transfer file and and then you upgrade it to Windows 7. So like I said I'm going to use uh, a network transfer. So I'm going to click on network transfer and say which computer are you using now? Now the computer I'm using right now it's my new computer. So I'm going to say this is my new computer. If you are using your old computer you'll click on my old computer and then you will download the software directly to that computer. But since this is my new computer, I'm going to click this is my new computer. And then it's going to say, do you need to install Win uh, Windows Easy Transfer or uh, on your old computer? Yes, I will need to do that. The reason being, my other computer, it's, it's a Mac, and I've been just running um, um, a Windows version on it uh, using uh, boot. So I'm going to say I need to install it. And it's going to say, how do you want to install uh, Windows Easy Transfer on your old computer? So I'm going to say I have a flash drive. I'm going to click on flash drive. It's going to show what flash drive I have available on my computer right now. And I have this one right here, pen drive. I'm going to click OK. It's going to open. And it's going to start copying the program to my flash drive. Once the... Um, the program's completely loaded. I'm gonna plug it, unplug it from this computer, and plug it into my other computer, and run it from there. And then I'm gonna show you uh, what happened from there. So right now I'm just gonna be uh, waiting for it. It's usually take about 30 seconds, maybe a minute. Now if we open 
this right here to look at the drive you're gonna see this is what it's downloading it said Windows Easy Transfer and it's usually it will when, when uh, the download is complete when the application is complete uh, on this flash drive it will have an execu executable uh, a file uh, which helps you when you plug it into the other computer to just run right away um, if you're using a uh, flash drive that you have other things on that shouldn't be an issue you shouldn't worry about it um, when you plug it into the other computer you just look for um, a shortcut that says Windows Easy Transfer and you click on that and it will run it by itself so like this you see right here it's almost done and I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna wait One of the reason I'm actually doing this transfer is because I want to use this computer as an administrative tool on a server I'm working on for one of my classes. Um, okay, and let's see, it said install Windows Easy Transfer on your old computer. So very much this is just giving me instruction uh, on what to do. So I'm going to unplug my flash drive and I'm going to stop here for a minute until I get it to the other system and then we'll move it together. Alright. Okay. Now I am on the other computer, the one I'm going to be transferring the file from and what we're looking at right here is my flash drive and this is Windows Easy Transfer application on it so to execute that file I'm gonna click on Windows Easy Transfer this is a shortcut right here double click on it and it's gonna start running and once while it's running um, all it does is just install that application on this computer so we'll be able to communicate with the other one and transfer um, since I have both computers on the same network uh, my router already have both of them uh, both of their IP addresses registered so it's not gonna, it's not gonna be an issue for me uh, all it does is just a, uh, a password validation all right, so the program is running right now, and we see the welcome, wind, welcome to Windows Easy Transfer uh, sign that we saw on the other computer. I'm going to click Next, and give us the same options. We're going to do it through a network. And then it said, go to your new computer and enter your Windows Easy Transfer key. This is the key right here. This key, I'm going to enter it on the other computer. And when I do that, I'll be able to communicate with, I'll be able to have both computers sync together. So I'm going to pause here for a minute and I'm going to start another one. Okay, back to the new computer. I'm going to call it the receiver because this is a computer I'm going to be receiving a file. Uh, on and this is the Windows set install Windows Easy Transfer on your old computer which I did and then very much tell, give me instruction what I need to do open the folder unplug uh, you, the flash drive and so on so I already did all that stuff and I have the software installed on the uh, sender uh, computer and I'm gonna click next and then it's gonna say enter your Windows Easy Transfer key this is the key we looked at on the sender uh, computer um, and this we're gonna put the number over here it's gonna be five five four seven six two it's usually general a random gener uh, generated number 
so it's not going to be the same every time you use uh, the transfer and now I'm going to click next now this is the receiver so when I click next it's going to try to communicate establish connection so you're checking compatibility, making sure that both computer running uh, a compatible version of uh, op uh, compatible operating system. Uh, I I'm, I'm running Windows on both systems, so it should be fine. Now the same sign right now showing on both computers. Right now, uh, the screen we're looking at it's the administrator and the doggone uh, user name these these right here are uh, part of the sender computer the other computer they're being scanned uh, to uh, to establish uh, the right connection and then I have shared item uh, items this is also a, a shared um, part partition on uh, a sender computer and all it does is just scan each uh, uh, user account and then it's going to show me what what are on uh, on that computer and from that window I'll be able to go through it and say okay I'm gonna you know transfer this file this file this file if you want to transfer everything then you just leave everything checked if you only want to transfer a few uh, files then you uh, just uncheck the stuff that you need and I see the administrator uh, user account already done so in a minute I'm probably going to be able to see the files on there okay so see the administrator right here tells you how much um, um, uh, what what is the size of the fold, uh, the files and programs that on that computer I have 4.7 gig on here and, and the check sign over here it it apply to all then from the, all the things that you want to transfer so if you don't want to transfer all of them you just uncheck it like I don't need to use the share items in here because I'm using it for something else and I don't need uh, anything from this account but what I need is the administrative account information because I'm gonna need to transfer um, some of the files from there so when I click on customize it gives me another window and shows me an option document music pictures videos window setting and other items and then it shows me how um, how many uh, what is the size of the files on each uh, one of these folders so I know what I'm going to be doing so I'll go to advance uh, now if you if you want to transfer everything you can just leave it as it is and click transfer uh, in my case I'm only going to transfer a few uh, files so I click on um, advance and now it shows me uh, what I have like I said it's a boot camp movie here this is uh, a Windows running on a Mac and that's one of the reason I want to transfer some of the files um, so I'm going to the users over here see if highlighted with a blue or could be different color but if if the box is filled that means this is what's going to get transferred now I don't need to transfer everything so I'm going to uncheck it and I'm going to go administrator and from administrator I can check or uncheck what I need is a few files one of them is in um, Ubuntu uh, IO, uh, ISO file that I need to load on my server and I have it here in my download files and I have a Windows uh, Server 2008 that I need to transfer to so I'm gonna uncheck uh, this I'm gonna uncheck this I'm gonna check our win because I don't need it these are only three uh, files that I need to transfer from here and there's one more file which is the Linux operating uh, I mean uh, Ubuntu okay I think I have it in my document so I'm gonna click on my document to check it and then I'm gonna ch uncheck the stuff that I don't need there's a CIS 200 class and this is where I usually have all I think I have all the stuff in there um, 
Uh, yep. Here it is. This is what I want. I'm gonna transfer um, very much say S200 and three files from my download. You can go up and down. Make sure that you have the right folder uh, files that you uh, desire to transfer. Once you make sure it's all right there, you're not doing something you don't want to. Uh, you just click save. This is gonna save the stuff you just customized. So right now I have 3.8 gig to be transferred. Uh, we'll say total transfer size is 3. Point, uh, oh, uh, 3 gig. 3 gigabyte. This is how much. How many? How much? Uh, this is how. What? This is the size of the files I'm transferring. And the connection status over here. They're both connected, both online. Uh, they're connected via the wireless network. And then I'm gonna click transfer, and I'm just gonna wait for it. You see, um, it said administrator over here and transfer it. Uh, it it gives you an indication of what which account is uh, uh, is being active while transferring. Uh, like this account over here, I didn't I didn't select anything from it, so it says this not selected for transfer. And the same thing for the shared items. So the only account I'm using right now, the only account I'm transferring from on my other computer is the administrator account. And as uh, as the transfer per, uh, go through, you can see the green line just go up and uh, up until complete. So I'm going to pause here for a minute and see how long it's going to take. Trans my transfer is active right now. And on the sender computer, you're going to see this message to say transferring files and setting. Do not use this computer during transfer. You can view transfer progress on your other computer, which what I was looking at earlier. Um, so very much they don't want you uh, to do anything on this computer um, because it will interrupt the transfer. Okay, well, um, the transfer is still going. Uh, it's about one third of it done. So I'm gonna go play some video games until I finish. Alright, I'll be back in a few. Okay, so this is my sender computer, and the message says. The transfer is complete. Go to your new computer to see a list of what was transferred. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to go to the other computer to see the files that I just transferred. Okay, so the transfer is complete. This is the second computer. It said your transfer is complete. And we have two options see what was transferred and then said see a list of programs you might want to install on your new computer so click this and it shows you the files that you transferred and that will conclude uh, our tutorial for today